Do you like free motion quilting but want a little bit more guidance? Today I'm going to do some ruler work and testing out my new Clarity ruler foot. Hi there, my name is Irene and you are watching the Sugary Do channel. Today I'm testing the Clarity ruler foot together with a quilting ruler. I love free motion quilting, but I also love my straight lines to be straight. Last week I made a beginner's video for free motion quilting, telling you everything you need to know when you want to get started with free motion quilting. And today I'm sharing my thoughts on ruler work with the Clarity Ruler Food. Not sponsored, just my own opinion. After watching many videos by Angela Walters on ruler work on YouTube, I wanted to try it for myself. So I went ahead and bought a ruler food and a ruler. I went for one with a straight line um, so that I can use it to stitch in a ditch around my arrows and I thought this would be a good one to start with. I love the super simple design of this foot. It's completely see-through so that will be great for free motion quilting and you can order it in different heights so I guess you can find one for every machine. I use the same steps to prepare my machine as I would for normal free motion quilting. So I'll do my feed dogs down, I clean out my machine, I put on my foot, in this case the Clarity Ruler Foot, put in my needle, set my stitch length to zero, and then I will put on my quilting gloves and I'm ready to start quilting. So installing this ruler foot is actually really easy. You just have a screw and a little washer that you get with the foot. Then you place your foot uh, next to your shank or against your shank and then you put in the screw. And when that's in you can adjust the height. So what you want to do is to leave the screw uh, loose and then um, place your foot all the way down and then you can adjust the height. So I'm just going to set it as high as possible um, because then I will adjust it as soon as my quilt is underneath. So this is not adjustable by the screw as my normal machine quilting foot has uh, but you just have to unscrew this one and then you can adjust the height. Okay, there we go. Let's bring in the quilt. So now the quilt is in place, I will lower my foot and then I'll adjust the height of the Clarity Ruler Foot. I guess this is okay. Moves around really nice, so let's fasten this. And then we're all set to go. Exciting! So here's my ruler. And I'm going to start off by echoing, no not echoing, what is it? Uh, by stitching in the ditch around these arrows. In the previous video about this quilt I already shown but I made um, rectangles around the blocks which are bigger than the blocks and I'm going to fill those in and I've made this quilt top with in mind that I'm going to use it as practice for free motion quilting. So it is a practice quilt so um, I divided the quilt in many blocks so I can fill every block with a different design. So it's perfect to test out this ruler. I have no idea if I'm going to find this with a ruler easier than just doing free motion quilting to uh, stitch in the ditch. But we can only find out by trying, right? So now I think the idea is that I just place a ruler like this and then I can move sideways. Yep. Now just to stay in the ditch. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. I like that. It's uh it's going really easy. But it's just managing the quilt. I have it on my lap, but I don't want it to get stuck be in front of the table. 
Let me show you how I'm sitting at the moment. I have placed the whole quilt on top of me. So then I prevent it from tucking under the table and then getting stuck there. Um, so now I have it on top of me and then I'll just position my arms underneath. So then the quilt is uh, quite easy to move around. Almost forgetting my quilting gloves. I broke my thread, let's try again. What is your biggest struggle with free motion quilting? Let me know in the comments below this video. Okay, that seems really easy. I like it. So for stitching in the ditch on longer straighter parts, I think it would be good to use a ruler, but for our tiny um, for tiny distances, I would just use free motion quilting without the ruler. So what I'm going to do now is to make a uh, grid to fill up the space outside the arrows. So what do I think about working with this ruler? Um, at first I wanted to say it's super difficult, but I guess that's not fair um, since I just need practice. Um, I do think it's really fun because when I would be doing this with my walking foot, I would, would have to turn my quilt all the time. And now I can go from left to right, from top to bottom, uh, so that's awesome and I think it's already looking pretty good the thing that I need to work on is uh, keeping the ruler in place because now I have some lines that are drifting um, but following the ruler uh, with the foot you don't have to press really hard or I think that's really really um, convenient and easy to do um, so I really like this for straight lines I guess for smaller distances uh, like um, uh, stitching in the ditch around the arrows, maybe that would be easier to just do freehand. Um, but making such a grid, yeah, I could definitely see um, the positive sides of using such a ruler. I think now I've done the straight side of the ruler, it's time to try out this curvy one. So let's move on to the next block. If you're looking for ideas for straight line quilting, you should check my free ebook. It contains 101 straight line quilting patterns that are perfect when quilting with the walking foot is what you're looking for. I will put the link in the description box below. I am in love with this quilting food. It's so awesome that it's clear and see-through, so 
um, that you can very easily do free motion quilting and see exactly what you're doing. Uh, and with the ruler, it's really nice that you can use the uh, ruler food and switch to free motion, uh, do some travel stitching and use the ruler uh, at the same time. Uh, so I really like that about it. Um, with the curves, I noticed that it's even more important that you can easily move the quilt around. Uh, that you don't want any tucking or pulling of the quilt because then it's very... Uh, I noticed that my shoulders got tense and that it's very straining to um, move around the quilt um, especially when you're having the ruler also on top of it uh, but when I have the quilt in a position that is moving easily then it's really really nice to uh, work with such a ruler I like the effect of the ripples that you get and I'm and let's try to see if I can show you yeah you can see a whole uh, pattern in here so you can make that with moving your ruler and also using your ruler in the other way uh, so that is something that I'm definitely going to uh, try out on a different block uh, but first impression I really like it and uh, it's a fun something new really fun to work with a quilting ruler I'm not sure if I'm preferring the quilt ruler over free motion quilting but I haven't tried it enough yet, so I'm just going to continue trying it. And uh, if you want to see the progress on this quilt, do follow me on Instagram, because I'm going to post pictures when I'm finishing up the quilt over there. I am going to continue quilting on this quilt. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. And in conclusion, I love the Clarity Ruler Food. So if you're looking for a uh, food to use on rulers, uh, definitely go check that out. Thank you so, so much for watching. Happy quilting and I hope to see you again next week. Bye bye.